Good morning, Mulaski. My name is Ethan, and today is Thursday, March 14th. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Please be seated for 30 seconds of silence. Today's lunch choices are teriyaki chicken cheese pizza in the grab and go in your side chart, green salad, ranch dressing, fruit juice, and milk. Yu-Gi-Oh! and Pokemon card clubs this Thursday. You must bring your own deck of cards to participate. Malaski softball team has an away game today. If you see them in the halls, make sure to wish them good luck. Good morning, Malaski. The third quarter is ending this Friday. And what does that mean? That means all pride tickets need to be turned in in order to count for who's going to win the third quarter house prize. Good luck to all teams. Get them all in by Friday, guys. Students, as we know, we are all required to wear our IDs here at Mulaski. It's one of the easiest school rules to follow. Your ID must either be hanging around your neck on your lanyard or a string, your choice, or you can have it clipped to the top half of your torso. It is not acceptable to have your ID in your pocket or in your book binder and pull it out when a teacher or staff member asks for it. These are your two options of where it needs to be. If you do not have your ID because you have lost it, you can purchase one in the registrar's office before first period only. We do not sell them after first period. It's a dollar for your new ID and a dollar if you'd like to purchase the lanyard. Starting on Monday, we will have a new procedure in first period for checking for student IDs. All teachers will check students to make sure they have their ID with them and it's on properly worn. If you do not have your ID, you will receive a sticker with a date on it. You must wear this sticker all day long and it should be worn just like your ID in the top upper half of your torso. If you choose to rip this sticker on and off all day long, it's going to eventually not stick. You will receive an additional citation for not having a visible ID. If you take your sticker off, you tear it in half and you put only half of the ID on you, you will receive a citation for no visible ID. This is your responsibility to make sure that you have your student ID every single day and that you are properly wearing it. If you choose not to follow this simple school rule, you need to make sure that you're willing to accept the consequences for your choice. Do not argue with a staff member when they give you a citation for not having a visible ID. Do not argue with a staff member when you're given the sticker because you don't have your ID. So please make the right choice, wear your student ID the way you're supposed to every single day. Thank you for tuning in to MVP. Have a great day.